Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from um, all of us who are on this journey to love. And uh, I've been doing healings for people today, and um, I just did my Reiki Holy Fire 3 upgrade, which is when you do Holy Fire Reiki, you do different, for, uh, basically it's like increasing your frequency, so the 3 upgrade is the most recent one. And it's just putting it into a higher frequency of love, basically. And um, what, when I was doing that, what was coming through for me was childhood issues coming up to be healed. And so the reason why I'm going to share this is that I did a healing for a lady today and virtually exactly the same. Um, when she sent me her, when she sent me her um, thank you back again, um, I couldn't believe it because what she wrote was virtually exactly the same what I was healing for me. So because we're the mirror for each other, I am going to tell you what that is because it might trigger something for any of you. And this particular thing, childhood thing for me, has been, um, it's actually something with my mum and it is about self-worth and um, making you feel not worthy because you don't look a particular way. So basically taking their, you know, you take on those ancestral... Um, beliefs which aren't necessarily your own and um so one of these is like you have to be so the the particular thing that i was healing which has just been virtually exactly mirrored back to me by this lady so that's why i'm doing this video is that um, my mum said to me that you have to be thin in order to be loved and um, in order to get a husband and in order to get a job and basically to be successful you have to be thin and um, so that was and so from my first memory um, is really being put on various you know always diets basically from like the like, yeah my earliest memory so my and um, so of course that is all you know, just carrying around, basically harboring <laughs> all of that, like that childhood stuff. And so that for me has been really strong coming up to the service to be let go of and to actually get to the root cause of it um, and to release that because those are old beliefs, that old outdated beliefs that is not, that's not who I am, that's not what I'm defined by. Um, and so I thought I'm just going to pull some cards because... Um, as I said, I've just done a healing for a lady and virtually exactly the same thing came up for her. So um, I was like, this is obviously, there is going to be things that uh, other people are going through, this childhood stuff coming to surface. Obviously, it might not be the same, but it might be something that is triggered around your self-worth. And, you know, th you know, that thing of you can't be loved unless you are blah, 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 whatever that has been put in your you know, in your awareness from when you're a child. And anything other than that means that you're not worthy of love. So it was just a really powerful thing because that's what came up in my Holy Fire 3 when I was doing that um, because it's all about self-love. So I'm going to read because this is... And the other... I'm just going to say what songs came through in people's healings um, because, again, they tell a story. So the songs were, were A Good Heart Is Hard To Find... Um, it was Losing My Religion by R.E.M. R.E.M. is obviously the dream state. And we've had messages today about experiencing twins in dreams. And that's been a really strongly coming through and dreaming about twins recently. So Losing My Religion. Um, the uh, You've Got the Love, Florence and Machine. Um... Strawberry Switchblade, a really old song by Strawberry Split Switchblade. Um, and this was, um, uh, I can't remember the song, but anyway, Strawberry. Now, Strawberry is a symbol of, again, it's uh, used in a lot of um, religious paintings, strawberries, because they seem very opulent. It's like a gift of God. So, again, it was just kind of like, yeah, crazy. So when I did the reading, this is the energy for us, and it is um, the Six of Hearts, and it is the past. So, the Six of Hearts wants to write a new narrative. It is time to let go of the stories you've been telling yourself. And in this case, uh, subconsciously, you know, what are those old beliefs that even aren't yours? It's ancestral stuff that you've just taken on. 
Every time you talk or think about your past, you bring it into the present and limit your future. A practice belief has become entangled with your everyday way of being, causing you to react in certain ways that feel familiar. If this belief is working for you, then great, keep going. However, this card suggests something is no longer working and it's time to leave it in the past where it belongs. There is a new awareness of an ability or characteristic that was limited due to expectations, convention or familial pressure. You will be victorious in bringing about harmonious change. Right, so everything, you know, those familial things, what is it? So the trigger was definitely about feeling unworthy, undeserving of love. Um, and so stemming from something told in childhood, right? So I'm sharing it because it's, you know, it's, it's, if it's come up for two, it with exactly the same thing. I was quite surprised that it was exactly the same. Uh, so then for the twin, it is what's going on for them. And it's the seven of trees. And the Seven of Trees is about basically contemplation um, and just taking a rest and just, you know, just saying, look, it's going to be all right. The, the universe is going to help you find your way. Don't worry. So the Seven of Trees inspires you to take time out for yourself. You have been working so hard. It's now time to catch your breath and reflect. A break from doing gives you a chance to see and process your surroundings before difficulties arise. Are you still on course? Is this still the path you want to take? Are you getting the results you want? There is so much going on behind the scenes. The universe is moving heaven and earth to give you what you desire. So you can relax in this knowledge and get on with your day of rest. So, so don't worry. The universe is walking, working things out for you. You can't see behind the scenes. Um, but there is just so much going on in the background. But we are definitely, if you're watching this video, then you're definitely being pushed to go through a healing um, and to go through, you know, looking at where did you feel that you weren't worthy of love? You know, why did you feel you weren't worthy of love? Um, because it's been, you know, it's time to move on from that, to let those old beliefs go. Um, so the two of trees, this is the energy between us both. And if you see that, they are two trees uniting into one. And the twin hearts at the bottom, this is, again, incredibly synchronistic. Because in a healing that I did for someone this afternoon, it was very sweet. They were like long, young children, and I felt them both take my hands. And um, we ran up to this tree, ran up the tree, and they had created a tree house together. And um, then when we did the, I was guided to do some heart healing and chanting. And um, I, basically through that, I was asking, what is this healing? What do we need to heal? And uh, the answer was, it's the feeling of feeling connected. And then what I saw was that basically they became the tree and their roots became like the planet. So the tree was then growing a planet out of the base of the tree. So it was just lovely. Again, so really symbolic of saying that we are rooting by realizing our connectedness to each other, to your twin, um, by realizing that and really appreciating that you are two trees into one, um, then your, your roots can really feed the planet with love. So again, it was just amazing, just amazing. And incredibly, the lady that that healing was for is has just literally sent me an email. I just saw it. So, hello, you know who you are. I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so the two of trees impedes on a financial or business affair. A situation is not going to plan, but a solution is on the way. I love that. <laughs> it's just saying, don't worry about this. It's okay. Uh, trying too hard to bring about a res resolution will only delay or prevent the desired outcome. Let it be. The chips will fall where they may and a new path will be revealed. In taking on too much, you lose sight of the trees for the forest. Prioritise tasks, whether they may be work, family or hobby related. This card also asks you to care about your physical body. Balance your inner and physical self with meditative movement. Walk in contemplation and inspired action will follow. Now, 
what I straight away notice about that is the fact that it's synchronistic with the contemplation on the divine counterpart side. And so if you have been, I can see why this card has come up between the joint energy is because for us, these, um, whatever's come up to the surface to, you know, something's been triggered to bring up these childhood issues. And so if this resonates for you, it's because whatever situation has come to bring that to the surface, it's come to let go of. And of course, um, that means that you have to let go and get, you know, basically give in to the process and to trust that your roots are entwined together and to let the path unfold. Um, and sometimes that means there's a change in the path, but that's okay. So anyway, I hope that helps. And if you want to have a healing or reading, it's only $20 and, um, healings, I tap into your energy and I basically see it like a film, and then I give you a write-up of what I see, any songs that come through, a mantra that comes through, and when you uh, say the mantra, it lifts and shifts your energy and moves you vibrationally towards, you know, this unity, union, basically. Um, you're merging your energies as one. Um, and if you want a video reading, it's a card reading, and again, only $20. Um, but it's a really amazing, you know, it's, it blows me away, to be honest. It's just incredible how, you know, we really are all the mirror for each other. And, um, like I say, when I was, when I just read that lady's email, what she said her mum had said to her was exactly almost word for word what I remember my mum saying to me as a little kid must have been, I don't know, so young, but to have that is one of your earliest memories that you have to be thin to deserve love or thin to do well or thin to, you know, whatever it may be. Um, of course, that has a really lasting imprint on you. So we are being pushed to clear all of those old beliefs and to really rise up in self-love, right? Today is all about self-love. All right. Thanks ever so much. Take care. Bye.